Welcome to this podcast. This is the first episode on shaping gender narrative in creative spaces. Our aim is to help artists to call out their gender biasness in the community and also to create positive genderization in our communities. Today, I'm joined by my fellow wonderful people in creative space and I would like them to introduce themselves. But before we begin, I would like to let you know that we have something for you. It's a surprise till the end of the episode. Please tune in. My name is Elizabeth Wamboy. I work with Hope Raises Initiative. I am an artist, an environmental illustrator, a, a weaver, and a painter. And I'm joined by my fellow artists here, and I would like them to introduce themselves. Please, Cocktail, please introduce yourself. Tell us what you do, who you are, where you're from, and what you like about what you do. Um, thank you, Elizabeth. Um, thank you for hosting me today. Um, good afternoon, our viewers. I go by the name Ezi Cocktail Babata Ifa also officially known as Bahati Hezbon. I'm an artist, uh, I'm an activist, I'm an entertainer, spoken word artist, and uh, I am based in Embakasi, 33. And uh, yeah, I like entertaining. Thank you. Chebet. Okay. okay, so my name is Chebet, Mary Lucy. And I am a lawyer professionally, but in the creative space, I work with Mizizi Africa. And what I do is I put the advocacy in a creative way. So I try and explain the rights that somebody has, but in a very creative way so that people can understand and I break it down for them. And I'm happy to be here. Okay, so now we know who you are. We will just dive into the conversation. Um, so maybe to begin, I would like to know what you think gender is and sex in your own experiences in the creative spaces that you are in. So Sorry, maybe we begin. Uh, <laughs> okay. So I think for me, uh, gender is a social construct. Okay. So it's a definition of what we think a man is and a woman is. So, but we okay, differentiate from sex. Mm -hmm. Sex is what makes biologically somebody to be male and female. So those are the two concepts of what gender and sex is. Uh, Cocktail? Yeah, I think I'm, um, I'm a poor because um, mm -hmm. gender most of the times, um, like socially, najua, tukizaliwa tuliko tunambiwa mwanaume afai ku osha vyombo, for example. Um, so mwanaume alikuwa na responsibility masculine enda 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 uchunge ngombe enda utafute kuni and stuff mwanamke uh, generally alikuwa ga yeye kazi yake ni kufua kisha vyombo kupika like kitchen stuff so mara nyingi tunapata tumekuwa na hizo taasubi so gender ni basically taasubi yeah. also pia vile Napatanga males, wanasemanga, they like cars, mm -hmm. they like football, they like color blue, yeah. then madame wanapenda color pink, pink. you know, yeah. going out, brunch, stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You have said it so well. Yeah. So just to sum up what you have said, um, mm -hmm. you have talked about sex being biology. So mm -hmm. you are either born a male, female, or an intersex. So that is biology. It is natural. It is universal mm -hmm. that's how it, it is mm -hmm. you cannot change mm -hmm. and about gender it's like the roles now mm -hmm. that i was a female i have this role that nitausha vyombo nitafanya all those kind of things mm. so that is what it is yeah. so you have said it mm -hmm. um, and also it vilomesema sex is universal mm -hmm. gender is more 
it depends on the jurisdiction you're in or like the area you're born in. So that's like in the Maasai community, it's different how they define the roles men and women have. And then Majun is different, you know, South Africa, it's different. Ah, very yeah. good point. <laughs> yeah. yes. I like that because you find in some communities, yeah. this role belongs to men. Yeah. And when you go to another community, that yeah. role switch, yeah. it's, um, it belongs uh, to women. To women yeah. Yes. Yeah. So now that we have talked about gender, so mm -hmm. we know what gender is, mm -hmm. maybe I think we have had this term over and over again, yeah. uh, gender equality, gender equity. What is that in your own perspective? I, uh, for me, uh, I think gender equality mm -hmm. um, the aspect of 50-50, understand? Like, like, for example, the opportunities, ama resources, mm -hmm. it's supposed to be 50-50. Kama ni wanaume wanapatiwa specific roles, wanawake wanapatiwa the same specific roles, but on the same level. See, <clears throat> excuse me, see at inakuwa based on when a woman is a fanya vitu heavier than whatever the lady and as a do, Najua. Mm. Because women understand kumba sis water to me to me like to me create you are very uniquely. Kilam to kona power yake, kilam to kona strength yake. So That's if right. chebet upper and as a match level and as a match my level, a mimi as a match level yake and then the proper for us kukua on a, on a, on a equilibrium. Majua, like to rapat your opportunity based on what you can do and not what um, defines us as a man or a woman. Mm -hmm. So for me, I feel gender equality ni kweka your level ya 50-50, yeah. I think you must say my everything, you know, because <laughs> gender equality is when there's equal opportunities for both men and women, yeah. and especially in the creative space. Unasema, let's say, sound people who are both female and men. Uh, dancers, is equal to madame kilasa. You know, men are now getting into that space and they're dancing. <clears throat> so basically, gender equality, ni ku ensure that kuna yo platform. Ya kusema, weka uko na talanta, ukujapa, upresent. We won't see you as a gender person. Tutakona kama cocktail, ama tukone kama Elizabeth. So your gender doesn't really matter. Yeah. Your craft is what is supposed to be more important. Yeah, a good example, maybe kwa industry ni kuna too much domination when it comes to rap music, mm -hmm. especially hip hop, my headbangers. Most, most of the rappers wana kuwaga male, like iko male dominated. Yeah. Unapataga madem mara nyingi, hawako recognize like, au ni ma, ni ma rap, unajua, una kwa gome kwa segregated, au wana faku imba, ma R&B, ma souls and stuff, unajua. Mm. But kiyo kiangalia, I talk about the likes of Kinasopi Soul, for example. They are not rapping, but one of one of one of fit kwa yo category ya yeah, soul and stuff. Yeah. So I think for me ni ni ku create two your space, najua. Like mm. ku, ku open up for more. Uh, now I, I think upon normally equity na ingilia sasa. Yeah. Ku, ku try to ku bridge these gaps, like ku, ku understand. Okay, apart from one woman as a rap, mm -hmm. but pia kuna kuna dema as a rap. But kama maybe a jafikisha level flani. So for example, if pass mark ni 10%, ama ni 10, uh, na akona 7, how do we raise her above that level? Aweze kufika 10. Doweze pia kupata, aneza dominate mm -hmm. pia kwa yu space equally na vile mwana umeneza. Mm -hmm. dominate. Because for us, many na kuga easy, mimi naeza ingia kwa, kwa space ya madem, like for example, vile mesema sauti soul, mm -hmm. based on their voice. And it's not because wow ni madame, but it's because wow ni wanaume na wame, wame, wame challenge the, the status quo. Najua? So, na hiyo na kugangumu kisana for madame kujiprove otherwise. So, I think for me, as a man, it's important ku, ku try kutumia tuile space yangu, kuleta madame closer to that podium, so that mm -hmm. tuweze kuchaza na level the same. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. Okay, you wanted to say something? Yeah, I just wanted to add, I think for gender equity now is where you go and look for whichever gender is being, is the subservient one. Ile nye haije kuwa dominated kwa yeah. the industry. So it's a kama we have less rappers, una create competition and unasema, 
for women only you yeah. know women only rappers ama kama ni sound it's only men who are there then you create a school where you encourage women to come in kuna hizo incentives maybe wanalipa less fee you know kuna hizo two affirmative action programs to make sure that your platform it's equal to everyone yeah yeah, yeah you have you have said it so well nothing to add there because uh, like chapet you have said Mm. for equal, for equity yeah. is actually looking at the needs because yes. we want to reach where this the other gender is yes. so it is like um you're looking oh chebet we want you to be as good as sauti soul mm-hmm. so but you have one and two three you need to do yeah. that you don't have yeah. so this is what we are going to give it to you so mm-hmm. that you can raise you so that mm-hmm. we achieve the equality yes. so the goal is equality yes. but we need equity to be able to reach equality, equality. Yeah. yes Indo. and now speaking of equality and equity yeah uh kwa hii industry ya sana <laughs> <laughs> yeah kwa hii industry ya sana na sana yeah. there's there's a lot of challenges yeah. when it comes to that we have not achieved that for mm-hmm. sure mm-hmm. so what are some of the challenges that we have faced mm-hmm. in the industry yeah okay so i think one of the biggest challenges is the stereotypes so kuna hiyo stereotype ya hata mkingia tu kwa said kuna my boy wanafa kufanya hii na madem wanafa kufanya hii so you get that men will get better opportunities you let's say dem amenda kuleta chai ama kuleta maji or something so just when we were talking about gender being a social construct it boils down to our day to day activities kwa sababu unapata umezoea kwa nyumba huyu anafanya hivi huyu anafanya hivi so you get you miss out a lot of opportunities because maybe someone may think huyu hana the same skills the man doesn't have the same skills as the woman yeah but is it not true that women may not have same skills as as men or In is it way? just because uh, you have talked about like people assume mm. that maybe male have more skills than women yeah. is it true or is it not true it may not be true <laughs> just as a kama mimi ni rapper but ukiniona you can't think I'm a rapper you know mm-hmm. so nataka tu nipe up if i say i'm a rapper mm-hmm. then ufai kuniangalia useme madem awezi rap or something mm-hmm. like that you know that stereotype of madem wanapenda soul you know something soft sina mm-hmm. dreadi you know mm-hmm. sijuizi ma rough words mm-hmm. so you shouldn't look at me and say uyu ni dem so obviously haizi rap you should look at me and say amesema ana za rap amesema kona hiyo talanta so wacha tumpe your opportunity your chance okay so my point on that yeah. i wanted you to clarify on that it's yeah. because we have talked about equity yes. and equality yeah. so when it comes to equal, we have talked about gender as like what people think you should do yeah. as well and when it comes to what you have said about like um women like being as people assume that you you cannot do it because you're a woman yeah. but at the same time we also want to achieve the equity where mm. we may have fewer women mm. in the industry mm-hmm. maybe you you gave an example of a sound sound producer yeah producers mm. okay we don't have enough we don't, producers we don't. so even mm. as much as we are advocating for that equality yeah. we also need to give resources that is equity yeah so that we can enable women mm-hmm. to be able to reach that equality mm-hmm. so that we can be saying oh we have 100 yeah. men who yeah. are trained as sound mm-hmm. and 100 women who are trained it's as true. sound engineer so so that we can be able to achieve that yeah so in other words i'm saying as much as we are talking about um, stereotypes equi- yeah stereotype uh, yeah. we should also like try to kill those because stereotypes are there because we don't have enough yes. of those people it's true. so we should also mm. like look at those issues yes. in general so mm-hmm. what are some of the challenges that you have and you have seen women so we can talk about women and then later male in the industry that you see female are facing this but me as a man i cannot face that kind of a challenge um i think <clears throat> challenges in a cut across eh? mm. ani vile tu tumeanza na definition eh? mm-hmm. yeah what gender is and what we think it is 
at from the example in Shebeta mesema um, like for example ya kuna event ya marapas <clears throat> and akuna madem kwa hiyo lineup for example uh, how best can we do that so maybe ku counter your challenge ni by doing um, a female lineup event mm. so for example on 20th kuna event uh, during mashujadi and it is purely a uh, a uh, female dominated event what yeah from yeah, like like from from the sound people yeah, yeah, like to from the, the sound was your camera was yeah. your lights nini 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 nice. why uh, why uh, uh, these people doing it it is because kumekuwa na narrative ya men wamekuwa ki dominate sana kwa space mm-hmm. and hawataki kupatia na opportunity to team not yeah. because our madam always do yeah. stuff mm-hmm. but it's because men wanna feel wando supreme wando alianza mm-hmm. game wando mm-hmm. anafaa kutua hapo kwa hiyo space na nini and if by mm-hmm. any chance dem anafaa kwa anafaa kwa mtu wa mkono you understand because of course maybe juu ya zile the natural you know um biological factors zenye zina zinapata madem for example during your mp's during um maybe una kuna mtu huyu analea na nini so yeah. kuna koga na vitu mob zenye yeah so sometimes was inachangia mm. but me usemaga if tuko na intention ya ku change in narrative tunaweza i do and it only takes uh, positive minded people ama wasinyo kuna goodwill to make that change so for example me nse kama mimi niko hapa hivi and i'm gearing up to to make sure your event may happen and if female lineup kwa sababu tunataka wa match level zenye wanaambia wezi match naelewa so hiyo ndio platform ya ku ya kutestiza levels ya kuweka Bunsen banner tuone color inatoa gani unajua <laughs> then after hapo then tunajua ah out of 15 artists eh uh, four artists walichapa hiyo show vizuri sana then how how maybe 11 wanahitaji kupewa training then sasa tunaanza maybe kuandika proposals na nini tunaambia waseni aje tunahitaji ganji to train ama demo stage performance maybe production music lights and stuff then so unapata tuna bridge your gap but wase wengi na ndio mko one of the biggest challenges wanaume wengi wapendi kupeana hiyo like your opportunity ama your space to madam pia wajaribu ku do stuff so hiyo ni one of the greatest challenges and then two i think ni story peers um i get over nini um ni ta- sex what objectification uh-huh. yeah like unapata squeezy so to me realize kuna story ya uh, apart from to just being straight kuna issues around peer lgbtq na nini so unapata kuna wase wengi based on what whoever they want to become uh, ama vile tu biologically wame kwa created unapata mtu anakuwa manipulated so unapata for example a guy mwenye anapenda ku associate na um, the opposite sex na ile our same sex inakuwa ni issue uh, maybe kupata opportunity maybe ku perform so unaanza kukuwa maybe unatengwa una unaelewa ama unapata wanaanza kukutumia kama kama like for you to maybe for you to do a production lazima udo za namse so maybe uh, mimi ni lazima isho kukuwa gay kwa sababu nataka ku record na producer ni gay so inakuwa ni normal for me on my end unaelewa so i think you pia ni normal alafu pia eh mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. I just wanted to add to your point on that sexual harassment. I think it's very very rampant yes. in for us female. Yeah. Cuz most of the places you go, even as artists, they will tell you, "Oh, you want to do this. Oh, you want to display your painting. I don't know." Even from my friends who are in within the creative industry, it's very very common for female i don't know about me, men but i think um if you compare men and women maybe chebe to can <laughs> back me up on this yeah, yeah. No, yeah. no i think for mm. women first more sexual harassment kutoka yeah. kitambo lazima you pay a certain price and it's not monetary you know yeah. You have to give up your body mm-hmm. there are certain opportunities in aqua too opened if maybe you're sleeping with a producer which then in a bringing narrative here women cannot really achieve greatness 
based on their crafts and their talent. Yeah. So in a take away from wale wana wase wana kuangawa zi. Like sasa unana tu uyu mtu lazima she slept her way through mm-hmm. the talk. As as in iko tu in our society. Hata kama ule make tu natural. Hata kama wewe ulikuwa bidi yako ilikuwa kama hapo. Yeah, hata kama ni bidi yako. Yeah. It's very hard to see kama ni bidi yako. But also to tight in with object object objectification objectifying uh-huh. objectifying women unaona kama cause sex sells and unapata maybe in music videos women are being asked more and more to act a certain way maybe if they are dancing mm-hmm. or if they are performing something so i think that's challenging because in a reduce dignity am to especially kama hawa ku consent because mm. consent ndio inakuanga key so kama hawa ku consent and they're doing a certain activity then in a bring about dignity ya huyu artist ina kwa reduced mpaka yeah. unapata mtu anasema hili tu ikae you know i would rather not be in the space at all if i'm not going to be respected for my craft yeah, yeah. Mm, that's that's nice uh, a very good point yeah uh, you have talked about craft yeah and i've i've remembered that when it comes to craft when you go to the you're looking for a job maybe yeah. and you're a woman mm. people don't believe in you mm. uh, my experience is when i'm doing like painting i'm doing a job so people ask me ah so na jo ko paint e buchora nione because they wouldn't give you a job until they see what you have done mm. but when it comes to men mm. it is not like that it is mm. oh i know how to paint so mm. come and do this job Okay. which also translates to you will be paid less yeah because they are not sure uh, yeah so they're not sure whether you know what you're doing mm. or not and mm. i think that's a very bad but even thing. not even even if they're not sure your rate card your pay disparity mm. there is kwa sababu unaweza pata rate mimi na cocktail tunalipwa inaweza kuwa different not because he's any better mm. but just because he's a man and i think mna kwa gabeta at negotiations or something funny enough yeah. uh, madam do go na negotiate on our behalf really mm. so we when it jack ni madam so na pata maybe an, and i think nani lifanye vo deliberately because um vile tu unasema wanaume unapata sometimes ni easy to make your point but now it is way much easier for me kwa kuna dem inakuwa easy for me because yeye ata bargain different. Mm. Unaelewa? Mhm. Because now yeye ame understand alafa kwa hiyo space. Ah. Si ati anabahatisha. Ah. Hiyo ni space yake na ana dominate kwa hiyo space. Mm-hmm. So hakika ana kama na skills zote. Now because I understand what men come with on the table. Sasa yeye pia anakuja na counter. Mhm. Unaelewa? Because hiyo imefanya pia mimi red card yangu ikapanda. So I, I I I I used to earn some kidogo so you're using women <laughs> to negotiate <laughs> yeah, but of course aki 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 negotiate better ina maanisha pia kuna better pay okay but what that skill is, is that ni negotiation skills or money art skills uh, so yeye ni yeye ana yeye ana two roles mm-hmm. so yana manage na ana communicate okay so yeye ndio anything communications ni nini ndio ana handle because mimi na understand yeye kuna hiyo better uh, mm-hmm. Not because I can't do it mm. but pia nakuwa ni, ni kazi mob pande yangu uh-huh. alafu pia nakuwa pia niko na wanaume wengi kwa set <laughs> So na try to balance okay. so mtu wangu wa communications ni madam mm. um, mtu wangu wa camera behind the scenes mm. ni man mm. mtu wangu wa sound maybe ni wawili mm. boy na dem I get yeah. 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 alafu can i hear okay vile umesema unaeka dem ndo ana negotiate kuna hii issue ya the negative masculinity where you find that maybe if you're facing challenges una una kazana ki mwanaume so you've seen there's been a lot of suicide in the recent past yeah. where artists are not really speaking and it's it's been mostly men as compared to women so is it something that you'd say you faced personally umepata challenges but then you know the masculinity na sema si lazima nionge ntajitangangana yeah uh, from from a point of misinformation yes okay ile time siko informed mm-hmm. uh, nilikuwa na hiyo notion ama hiyo perspective ya yeah. 
mwanaume ndo mwanaume mwanaume anafa to do every everything mm. noma ikikupata una deny kiwewe kiwewe unajua mm. but as time went by mm. and pia kwa time to pia zima seminars na nini yeah. imen said a lot to understand kwamba no it's not okay to be okay or rather it's okay it's to okay be. to not be okay yes. it's okay yeah. so lazima ujibonge and so for me i think many those jai fikiria ku commit suicide asije kama itawai come but <laughs> we hope not kuna watu yeah. nimekuwa nao my best zangu wenye nime hata nimewarifa kwa kwa kwa, kwa for pss counseling na nini yeah. because imefika mahali mse amepiga ukuta design ni noma yani mm. lazima tu i end story bila anyone kujua because i'm a derb we handle lakini nimemshinda so mm. and all the only thing i need to do ni ku, ni kuondokea mm. so for me na hata pia mademi na affect but yeah, at least mademi wana bonga yeah. sisi for men ni ngumu so mimi kitambo siko na bonga mm. but excuse niko in a very um, evolve eh niko kwa spaces zenye naweza jibonga niko yeah. na niko na movement ya wasanii wenye tunaweza share na mwambie ni aje hapa ni kuna hii noma kuna hii noma and pia manager wangu anacheza role big sana because mm. now yeye yeah, understand from the point of ile kulia yenye sisi wanaume watuli <laughs> so yeye yeah, nikimwambia yeah. anajua vile anaweza calm your situation na nini ananipanga na niambia do hivi do hivi do hivi yeah. okay. okay um something else to add on your point uh i do a lot of weaving and i find when it comes to weaving business you find more men into the business like they are just like oh unashona but unaniletea ninauza so men are just like the brokers middle men, yeah the okay. brokers uh-huh. of course there are some who do the weaving but very few uh, very few yeah. and then when you like dig deep it's the because of the role that they have been given in the society they have to make money yeah yeah there's no way out mm. you have to make money so those like we were saying what gender is it is the role that you have been given so that is also forcing you it is also as a disadvantage to you mm. because your role is to provide yeah. yeah so you have to go out there your role is not to cry you're a man you're a boy you cannot talk about that mm. just like you have said so that is also like disadvantaging men and bringing so much burden to the man yeah. Yeah. because you are required the society is shaping you in this way and in the industry it is also very hectic for men because um simnajua when you economy economy ni mbaya na turamba imagine and then you are required to tafuta yako na tafuta ya mingine mingine tafuta yangu peke yangu so yeah dio those are things that are, are adding up and making you to be like making this gender roles and norms and whatever in a family boy child in affect well, our yeah. mental health be normal yes, yeah. mm-hmm. be normal mm-hmm. maybe na information pay go go enjoy wasipia mm-hmm. wanafa tunafa tuko tu yani na, na spaces nyo sana za bonga wale mm-hmm. mm-hmm. hata kama tu ni wana ama 30 minutes tuko tu na a session tu wasona za tujiongea waseme iko hivi na hivi manze unaona mm-hmm. because in as much as that society make hizo vitu hivyo pia sisi wanaume atuko open to maybe madam for example manzi yangu unajua like wase tuna date ama nini watu tuko in relationship now mtu ajui mimi na, na expect nini ama ni levels gani mimi mwisho yangu inafikaga because na kuna tu nimejiekea because always nataka ku, ku, kupendeza tu dem nadha but the more nafanya hivyo the more najiumiza Nada. So I think pia sisi wanaume ni poa kuwa na open conversations na wase wenye tu wako around us our sisters our girlfriends and stuff waweze ku understand pia mimi ni mwanadamu mwana, mwana kaa wewe niko na feelings niko na emotions na sa zingine vitu ziuendaga tu ile side nyingine mm. as ikienda hiyo side nyingine wewe ndio unafaa kwa support ama kuna vile unafaa kwa kuni accommodate nikiwa na kaa hii designer na hii design na pia mwanaume anafaa ajue ile time ako na noma ako free kuongea mm. Yeah. Yeah. moving away from that, I think kuna hii shida ya by virtue of just being female, kuna opportunities uta miss. Maybe if you're pregnant, yeah. if you're breastfeeding. So if me and you get a child today, me I'll have to go home for six months, you know, because nalea mtoto. So that's six months worth of opportunity that imeenda to waste. Alafu you get that 
most of these gigs Actually, six Gioni, ni how many months? Ni nine months Sorry. plus six months <laughs> plus extra like one and a half years. Yeah. Because lazima do rudi tu back eh, to Because lazima upeleke mtoto sasa to extend ya <coughs> anaweza kula yeah. usiku kula tu but yeah. anaweza kula fit. Yeah. No, no. because yeah. mtoi yeah. at least afakuwa na, na, na mzazi for yeah. at least ikenda chini sana 2 years in a utopian world eh. yeah no, no. so that yeah. kuna hiyo pia parental touch na mtoi na nini yeah, yeah. mtoi anaweza kusahau unaweza like, kuja home as a very sister like in to speak about that as effect. well mm. uh, the biology mm. what is biology is the ni- the nine months yeah. of pregnancy yes. and the six months of breastfeeding, breastfeeding. Yes. yes everything else Yeah. Is socially constructed. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because after that mm-hmm. you as a man you can come in and help me to raise the child so that I can go to job. And mm. this is yeah. So okay. this is these are the things we are calling out because it is making so after me being a mother and bringing the child to this world it is also making me like not to get opportunities because yes. people are using that yeah. oh you're a mother now you have to take mm. care of your yeah. child yeah. but in anymore. the real sense yeah. even a father is supposed to take care of the child it's so it's not just the burden is only in women and that's why we are finding that the reason why maybe we are having fewer women in these spaces in creative spaces mm. it is because we have also been added things that are not supposed to be there Ah. Yeah. Utanyonyesha saa ngapi? Yeah. Mbona <laughs> piga gig mpaka saa 9 usiku? Yeah, exactly. you know, you know, mm. at 12. Masimu 1000. <laughs> Sapa anani atapika. Mm. You know, but also uh, even in the content that we are creating as creatives, you'll find that still till now kuna stereotypes in a kwa advanced na your content. Unapata kwa like an, like a mm, cinema or like a play bado tu unaona the man ndo analewa you know anachapa bibi yake mm. alafu the woman ndo anangangana na watoto unajua sasa these things continue we continue doing this over and yeah, over and over and over and over again mpaka ime um, demonize the man in the society juu sasa wewe unajua the, what you see what you hear is that this man was beating his wife na hizo ndo mwana kwa all the plays all the novels all the set books alafu mama anakuja na lea watoto watoto wana grow wana kwa madaktari mm. wana support mama so there's no point of evolution where to na change transformer these days in fact men take care of children sana a lot of them in fact squeezy mm-hmm. wa, women okay. wanaenda maju wanaacha mtu ina the father na anamlea mm. but we don't see that being portrayed in our industry but what What about Maybe. the what about the numbers? What about the numbers? Like uh your number ya wanaume kule ya watu hii mm-hmm. ni kidogo bado. Okay. But but in improve. Eh yeah, lakini sasa kama wewe ungeona play ya baba <laughs> analia mtoto. So unajua pia wewe ukipata mtu hii utaona it's normal. Mm. Lakini kama wewe play zako tangu kwa mtu hii ni mama ndo anashika mtoto wa mle awapeleke shule. Huyu anatoka job anaenda kaloko ndo akuje mm-hmm. home amchaf you know over and over and over again but as a society that's the point of change and i think the point of art is to initiate change so mm. if we we can see the role of a man in the domestic sense yeah. then that's how we start changing narratives and minds and the next generation takwe me normalized mm. yeah mm. to add on your point as well i think i'm adding so many yeah, just, points. Just, mm. you know a little bit of wisdom mm. yeah. yeah uh you have spoken about like the place yes. everything the yeah. art it's it's so it's it is portraying and shaping the world in a certain way yes. that means even us as artists yeah. when we are doing something mm-hmm. we are also forced mm. to to do things the way they are done mm-hmm. so if i'm going to maybe do something about maybe gender based violence yeah. if i mm-hmm. use a, a woman, woman. Yeah. fighting a man this mm-hmm. that piece of mine might not sell Yeah, it's true. <laughs> so But the point also, of art is to yeah. change. Yeah. You know, like <laughs> not just art is one of the strongest mm-hmm. means of communication. Yeah. Exactly. Like say mtu akipiga spoken word, nyi mm-hmm. inakushika kwa roho itakuguza na itakuchange. And artists I think are the most are the bravest people. Jua ndo ana taking your first step. Mm-hmm. Jua hata ndo ni sema hii change may come. Mm-hmm. Kuna mtu mahali alisema mimi movies nitakuwa na create mm-hmm. naonesha huyu mama kiwa boss as woman. 
no, no. So it's a burden, of course, on the so, creatives. <laughs> so, so, in other words, artists work like each one. Yes. So we are going to create bring the change we want to bring, see. Uh, we bring the change we want to see. Do you know it's appeal? Me say, when I do that, I will kiss you on Ataka how ko sad na yo wimbo ni sad uta kwa tu sad. Ataka ma how ko in love na uski tu yongo ma uta pata tu tafuta tu umtu. You know. So it can be used to bring that change that we want to see. Okay. I, I I don't think kama. Okay, in my own perspective. Mm-hmm. Okay. Like design was for example mwanaume akiimba about the opposite vile like mm-hmm. uh, aki aki akiimbia akiimbia boy mm-hmm. haita sell. It's true. So, yeah. Me na feel different kidog. Mm. Because I think me for, because for me it's not about the money first. It's not about monetizing mm-hmm. it first. Mm-hmm. For me it's about the message that comes with it then ku monetize wacha ikuje baadaye hiyo hiyo itajipatu yenyewe unaelewa yeah of but, course haita haita make big sell vile mm-hmm. unasema yeah mm-hmm. but if intention yangu ni ku, ni kuguza mtu mmoja na imemwai mm-hmm. then niko sawa because watu wengi waangalia ngi hiyo sense yeah now how do we change this narrative watu wanaangalia ga and nikifanya hii song ita sell itauza mm. nda ndauza copies ngapi nda mm. make ganji ngapi unaelewa mm-hmm. because for example ile piece maybe naenda ku do maybe afterwards eh uh, your song ni may it's, it's it's a true story from a female artist unaelewa mm-hmm. mse mwenye anaisikiza huko nje mwenye ni boy kama mimi ata feel uh, kawaida boy anafaa kuambia dem but now difference ni e story ni real design isipoongelewa saa hii hiyo kitu tutakuwa ina happen. Unaelewa? Mm. Have another piece nyenye bong about story la Sodom na nini? Enye nikitoa sahi watu maybe wata relate nayo immediately na itakuwa very effectively. Sawa? So, mm. But as time goes by wasio kiendelea kusikiza mm. itakuwa ina make sense for people because nimeiandika for the longest time. Sijaiandika tu ya sahi like si na si ati niko na ubaya na watu gengeton si kama gengeton ni bubble gum ndaimba sahi na ishe ni song itakuwa hapo na itakuwa na itakuwa so everybody atakuwa anaisikiza iwe ni boy iwe ni dem atakuwa na relate because na target dem ako na ball mm-hmm. na ball amebeba ni ya boy so hii kitu ita affect mtoi wake in the next 5 years 10 years unaelewa because so dem inaza happen kwa mse yote unaelewa rap inaza happen kwa dem yote unaelewa so ni wewe as an artist how do you frame your message una una una, una target nani at that particular time unaelewa mm-hmm. so mara nyingi unapata ga maybe kama mimi nikiandika song na kugana andika song based on either ni experience enye mimi mwenye nimepata nayo ama enye mse either ni close ama ni mse ni story nimefanya research na nimerealize ni story inaweza ile change kwa mtu yeah. okay but that's mm. true yes mm. maybe mm. now we have in story hizi isha about yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, na part kuna part 2 na part 3 yes it doesn't <laughs> end it's true part 2 na part 3 so mm-hmm. maybe we can kama uko na point yako ya mwisho unaweza sema. Mhm. Go first. Ah, go first. Ladies first. <laughs> okay. Um I think um in the time and age we are in, gender is a very important topic not only because for the longest time the women have been on the receiving end, but now we are seeing a shift. We are now there's no there's no proper balance between the two genders. Yeah. Na kwa creative space ni two ways. The first one is ukitumia the creative space you reach more people at the same time so we can use this space to make sure that people know that gender should not be something to be uh, to deny other people opportunities but also secondly kuangalia kwa artists na creatives bado hawako comfortable in the industry due easy gender stereotypes gender roles and they face a lot of discrimination yeah. so it's about time we work towards gender equality Yeah, I said that nikiongezea nda kwa naongezea ndani. But um ni poa vile umesema because I think bado kuna hiyo gap sana. Yeah. Kuna kuna gap big sana yenye. Lazima lazima tu tu ina roll down, unaelewa? And it will only take goodwill. True. Hakuna kitu kingine. Mm-hmm. Ni goodwill ya ku ya ku switch to hiyo uh, narrative na ku shape iko vile inafaa. Sure. lazima lazima hizi levels ziko tu hapa katikati mm-hmm. lazima tu tukue equal mm-hmm. in one way or another lazima 
Okay, maybe to sum up on what we have talked about and discussed in this conversation, I've had us talk about um, what gender is, what, a, what gender is, what sex is, what sex is, the challenges being maybe low pay on this side of women, yeah. uh, mental health yeah. inside in the side of male mm -hmm. and so many things we have talked about yeah and so we have come to an end of this episode but we said in the beginning we are going to have a surprise creative piece of course we are all creative so mm -hmm. we have something for you and i would like optil to take over yeah <laughs> And we're going to fight to the bills. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I wrote something. Vile nili mention. Nili andika kitu about uh, uh, kitu li happen. Uh, true story. This is based on true story. Na inaenda hivi ya. So community mekuwa koti. Na sayi wana mjaji tu. Wana uliza. Alikuwa na tafta nini kitembe usiku. Na sikati yaki membana. Vitae tena sana. Ati mbona haku piganduru wama alifiliki wa tamu. Tamu tena sana. Mbona haku sema no. Na uja mawabezi. Ana kuonga mpole tu. Na hii tabia. Tukushua haizi tu. Ana fila kili yake kukaribu kulipuka juu. Ya mawazo. Zimejificha kwa kichu wa kikumbuka. Vile mkono alibano huku mdomo. Hamebano wako sana ati yendi wa ritaka na alikipata pata. Hizi thoughts zinaongeza volume. Paka na jogopa na dhani ya itaji help. Juu. Awajui brain yaki na feel nini. Hezi ni zaidi ya didon ni poison. Na ni kong tena sana na tayari na spread fast. Anaishi tu. Ama anaishi kusurvive. Na try to find refuge. Kwanza kujidanganya uko aje. Niko poa. Niko poa. Hizo picha ziko mwake ya kilini zina mfungia. Kwanza kwa past yake. Words kama innocent. Saia yezi make sense. Ata mashitaka isipo mfeva. Kiyo si coincident. Yeah. Yeah. That was awesome. Yeah, anaishi too. Yeah, anaishi too. I'm anaishi to survive. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that was all from us. Yeah. Thank you.